Good morning, everyone. This is the day that I fly a helicopter. Hold up. How did we get here? Let's rewind just a little bit. No, wait, that's too far. There we go. So here we are one year ago reviewing healthy energy drinks and having a ball on our channel. But my wife is stuck in a really good nine to five job wanting to be home with our little girl. And my income, not stable enough to bring her home. So we searched and prayed for a way to bring my wife home. The long and short of it is helicopters is our answer. But I weighed 246 pounds and needed to be under 210 to train. So I got busy, invested in my health, and now weigh 189 pounds. Now that you're up to speed, let's get back to now. Did I fly a helicopter? All right, I'm at the local flight school here. My name's Erwin, by the way. I'm Nathan. Good to meet you, nice man. Nice to meet This is Irwin, one of the awesome instructors at Hampton Roads Helicopters in Chesapeake, Virginia. And this is my very first flight. All right, we're about ready to go. So I'm gonna roll that throttle back on and I'm gonna pick it up and we'll, I'll give you the controls when we're a little higher. Uh, you could probably, I'm gonna have it position the controls so you could feel what I'm doing. Okay. Um, again, ideally when you're in control, you're gonna plop it down on your leg like that. I'm gonna put it up like this. Um, just so you could feel what I'm doing. So the pickup is of a two-stage pickup. I'm lifting up on that collective until we get kind of get light on the skids. Once everything is stable and not moving around, left, right, whatever, then, and only then, am I gonna continue to my second stage where I start pulling up on that collective and kind of stop at a three to five whatever. If you'll notice, there's not a lot of movement I'm making with this cyclic, right? And I'm right. definitely not doing these back and forth sort of jerky movements. Right. I'm following the same rules you are as far as slow, smooth, and small movements on these controls. And ridge traffic, I'll look after 824 Whiskey Sierra taking off uh, 28 from the west ramp and roads. Probably give you the controls here in a second. I'm going to point that way so we've got something to point at. Remember, slight touch for this straight and level flight. Basically, what we want to do is look at the horizon and just kind of keep that horizon straight. If it's kind of wandering this way, well, that's not the helicopter's choice, that's your choice. So, kind of bring it back. Uh, all right, so I'm going to give you the controls here. You've got the controls. And hit the roads, Cherokee 8003 November, uh, taking off runway 28. You got the controls. To the west, Hampton Roads. Good, see how it kind of wanders that way? Yeah, hold that cyclic to the right there a little bit. Now hold it forward a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Try to have that light touch. We're figuring out straight level flight. If you park like an airplane, uh, it's kind of a combination of two controls here. We've got a collective lever on your left and your cyclic on your right hand there, right? So you could kind of think of it as the left hand controls that manifold pressure. So right now it's at 19 inches. Well, it's 18 inches. Well, let's keep it at a constant manifold pressure. So if it's at 19 inches, Camera, shot a 10 around, we're on the right. 
right side of uh, 280. All right, so 20 inches. Um, then you've got a corresponding speed for that power setting. Right now, it kind of looks like because our vertical speed is zero. Well, let's pull it back just a little bit. Our vertical speed is roughly zero. At 20 inches of power, we could go basically 75-ish knots. You yeah. see where we got that, 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 and that. Right. All right. Let's try our hand at, at turns here. What the idea here is that horizon should still be at the same spot on that windscreen. It should pivot off a point here, okay. and it should go like that. If it's coming up and down, well, fix it. Don't let it do that. Right. So I'm going to pull up just a little bit for you so we're not kind of diving. Let's make that left turn. Okay. All right, not bad. Yeah, we're trying but you see, yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Smaller movement. Yeah. Don't jerk the controls. Uh, a little aggressive. Yeah, just hold. Even when I'm controlling it, it's only my fingers and my wrist. I'm not doing anything with my arm. I'm almost thinking like my wrist is like fused to my leg there. Um, just try to only mostly use your fingers for the stuff we're doing today. So why don't we descend at about 600 feet by lowering the collective a little bit and pushing forward a little bit. Smaller movements on that cyclic. Okay. Now I'm gonna raise that collective for you and slow us down. Great. See that uh, funny, those white cylinder funny right. things? Just keep headed for that. Then eventually we'll make a big right turn and then follow the uh, freeway uh, out towards Summit. So you could already kind of see kind of the sites. You can see uh, Virginia Beach Town Center over there, obviously right. downtown Norfolk on that side. We're going to be to the right of that tower there. You can see it near the end of the uh, okay. uh, Jordan Bridge. Okay. You can fly right over these fuel tanks or the, those cylinders there. Right. See how we're descending. We're gonna lift up on that collector. We're gonna pull back on that side. There we go. Good. At this moment, I had the controls and I was flying over my house. I got some awesome footage. Sorry, not sorry, I'm not sharing it on here. But if you ever get a chance to do an introductory flight in a helicopter and fly over your house, do it. It was awesome. This guy do it at steep turn. Good on you. Yeah, as you get more experience in an aircraft, you're gonna kind of figure out like, it's like a spacing thing where you want to be and how to, how to get a perfect camera shot and all that. Right. Um, I might have made that a little wider turn just so you could get a better shot, but what you did was pretty good. Sweet. Head back down that direction, see a few more sights, and then we'll try our hand at hovering. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to give you the cyclic and let me give you a nice stable helicopter first. And the only game here is just keep it here. All right, you've got the cyclic. All right, I have the cyclic. Right, right, too much movement. Yeah, just calm down, plant your arm on your leg, use your fingers to move the cyclic to where you want it to be. All right, I'm gonna bring you back over here. I've got the controls for a second. All right. Normally it takes people, I don't know, 10 to 15 hours to figure out how to hover. You're not going to be 100% right. proficient at this. Yeah. You're doing good, but what's kind of working against you is you're making these micro movements in the cyclic that are making it unstable. Right. I'll bring us back over here. Uh, let's try the other three controls. All right, I'm going to give you the collective. All right. And just kind of focus on that. You've got the collective. I have the collective. So why don't we uh, try going up? We'll go to let's go to where you think 10 feet is. Cool. Why 
want you try to get as low to the ground without touching the ground. Good. Awesome job. Very nice precision there. All right. Let's lift the collective back up. We'll get to about five feet. And then I'm going to give you the pedals. Good. Why don't you keep our nose? Okay. Oh, we'll I'm make a, sorry. I, no, I did right. the exact opposite of what I was trying to do. Yeah, no, <laughs> just try to keep your nose here for a second, and then we'll make a pedal turn wherever you want. Uh, yeah. yeah, let's go right for a second. We'll go, we'll okay. make a right pedal turn. Well, why don't right. we make a full 180 degrees? Right pedal turn, got it. Yeah, it kind of speeds up there. Yep. Next time, we'll, why don't you keep focusing on your right pedal, and then we'll... Uh, Try to modulate so we are almost at a constant speed the entire time. You can keep keep going red yeah, if you want. Okay, right pedal turn. All right, awesome. All right, why don't we try that left pedal? Left pedal turn. All right, I'm gonna, I've got all the controls. I'm gonna give you all of the controls here in a second. Now, again, you know, hovering takes a while, so don't beat yourself up if it's not perfect. So, uh, you've got the controls. All right, I have controls. <laughs> so being aware of where the wind is, you remember when we were practicing um, with the pedals, I definitely didn't want, you didn't, it gets wonky when you, I put my tail over there, right? Right. All right, you've got the controls. Okay, I have controls. Plant your arm on your leg. <laughs> That's all right. You're doing all that. You're doing about normal for the uh, first time flight. It, it feels opposite to me. Yeah, it is. Think about it. It, it is kind of have to be opposite because of that pendulum effect. Remember what I was saying about keeping that rotor disc above us? Right. So when it's when we're tilted in that direction, it's actually opposite of what you right may think. All right, you've got the controls. Okay, I have controls. See, immediately you pulled that. I did. That I did way, pull it and back. it's going to just give you more work. We're going to do something called an air taxi, which is kind of fast. Well, not fast, but right. A little bit of airspeed. So, yeah, you've got the controls. I'm with you. I have Push controls. it forward. That's good. That's good. Try to stay over this yellow line. Smooth. There we go. See how. It's already immediately a little easier to fly well. Yeah. Hold it to the right. There we go. There we go. There yeah. we go. Now we're in traffic. All after four whiskey stairs, uh, crossing 228, or correction, 2810. And we're just awesome. And since we've already demonstrated it's easier as you're going forward, why don't we just make this a lazy left turn right. through the ramp rather than having to stop and figure it out. All right, good. Now we're going to slow down. I'm going to be with you on the controls. We're going to kind of set down here. Okay. I'm going to stop this drift, and I'm just going to slowly come, come down to the ground and turn it down. So I'm here with Erwin, one of the instructors here at Hampton Roads Helicopters, and you guys do more than just instruction, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Hampton Roads Helicopters is actually co-located with Hampton Roads Charter Service. Uh, on the helicopter side, um, instruction obviously, uh, as Nathan figured out uh, <laughs> this helicopter. Oh yeah. Um, but we also uh, sell helicopters and do maintenance of uh, aircraft as well. Um, as you can see in our hangar, we have uh, a bunch of jets. So actually, like the, on the airplane side, we do a lot of Part 91 work with uh, flying and uh, maintaining and housing those aircraft. 
Um, our charter service uh, is mostly through our R44 there. But mostly, I would say, at least my job here, it's mostly instruction. We also do tours and stuff like that. But uh, cool. Helicopters. Cool. And you guys have an Instagram, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, Pan Roads Helicopters. Awesome. I'll have that in the description. So if you guys are in Hampton Roads or on vacation in Virginia Beach and you're interested in aviation or just want to do an intro flight, check these guys out. I'll have their info in the description. I will never forget my first flight. If you like this video, drop a like on it. If you didn't like this video, you're probably not here anymore and that's okay. Uh, leave a comment in the description, share this video with anyone and everyone who's interested in aviation. And if you would like to know how you can support my wife and I in this journey while I study to eventually become an EMS helicopter pilot, follow the video link in the description. That's it for this video. Love you. Nathan out.